All right, YouTube, we're excited today to show you our gin truck that my daughter and I built. There she is. And what is neat about this is this is a PTO winch off of a transfer case hooked up to an automatic transmission. And I found absolutely nothing on the internet as to how well it would work hooked up on an automatic transmission. So what we did, because an automatic transmission, as you know, is just a slush box, we hooked up a brake to our PTO shaft. So here's the brake. And it goes down. This is temporary. We're going to do something a little better than this. And it goes to the shaft. And I'll get underneath here and I'll show you guys the shaft. How this all turned out and worked. There's the PTO. There's the drive shaft. And there's the brake, and that's the chain that runs the winch. So ostensibly you can stop the winch with the brake. So, the idea here is that this is as simple, even a little good can do it. So go ahead and show them how this works. There it goes. And she's picking it up. Now when I tell her to stop, stop. Here it stop the motor, stop the truck too. Now, jump up in there, Maggie, and put it in reverse. Ooh. Hop on out now, Maggie. Now go ahead and let the load down. And the load comes down. Go ahead and stop it. Now food for thought. What we were thinking is under extreme pulling circumstances, you have all the gears all the way through drive so you can make this thing absolutely sing. And you do that off of the, the switch for high and low, for high and low idle. If you put this on high idle, it will not stop the shaft. It will spin the shaft no matter what. It's just too much torque. So what we thought for like low, slow applications, a guy could have a button where he you know, pulls this back and put a button on here and he can have a button that, that he holds down and it'll lock the torque converter so you'd have positive pull solid all the way through the motor just as if it was a clutch and a stick shift the downside here is you can't operate the, the thing really from inside the cab you can but you won't be able to stop the shaft you'll have to put it in neutral up here to stop the shaft so I mean for what we're doing with it I, I I love it. I really think it, it turned out really, really well. And for those people that are going to be asking how much will it pull just at an idle, I got a 550 out here uh, with it all locked in, all the brakes on, and my foot on the brake on this at idle, and it dra and it dragged that truck across pavement in idle. So it will move a ton of weight just in idle. But if, you, if it's speed you're looking for, you can achieve that too. You just can't really use the brake to do that. So we'll make a pick here, and then we'll show you guys exactly, um, you know, how it works when we're picking. We're going to pick this motor. Here we have a 72 Ford. That's been in these guys' family for, you know, this entire life. They bought it new. And uh, this is what we're going to put in it. We've been building on this for a couple days. This is a 6.9, as you guys know. Really good, mild power for an older truck like this and a ZF5 speed from a two-wheel drive with 90,000 original miles on it and you don't need a transfer case because this is non-mated and this this swap's been done before a lot of people know about it I think it's going to turn out to be really well this motor's like mint inside really hasn't been used and like I said transmission no miles on it whatsoever so we're going to pick that motor now and uh, we'll send over video Thanks for, thanks for watching, everybody, and subscribe. Say hi, Mauricio. Hi. All right, he's the one with the truck. We're going to be working with him on. Yeah, we're super excited, guys. Please subscribe, like. Uh, we'll keep up to date on this uh, 72 Ford as well and the motor swap. Thanks.